Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and I have a new update on some CDs that I picked up on eBay. Can't seem to find any around locally, but so I decided to go on eBay a little bit and pick up a few. <clears throat> First up is a Blaze Your Dead Homie uh, CD um, pickup. It was a, uh, a five CD lot, so we're going to start off with Blaze Your Dead Homie. This is his first album. Okay. All psychopathic. And that's the track listing. Next we have Drive By, which is uh, Blaze and ABK, Pony Down, Prelude. This is the original release. I know they did a uh, re-release with two extra tracks. I don't know which one's more rare. I, I don't care, but yeah. Pony Down, Prelude. It's like a gangster version. They're alter egos. And PSY 4054. Uh, the original LP of One Less G in the Hood. There's the spine, but it doesn't have a, um identification code or a catalog number. Next we have pretty much one less G and Hood again, except this is the Deluxe G edition. I um I absolutely love the cover and the CD art. Now when this came out in 06, this is when I was really getting into psychopathic. I was buying CDs off Hatchet Gear with my paychecks. I used to spend my entire paycheck when I was sixteen buying uh CDs like this one, Psychopathic from Outer Space 3, Fuck the Fuck Off from Shaggy 2 Dope, The Tempest, all in good ones that I just love. That that whole era, even Independence Day and whatever one they had before that one. I can't remember. Mutant and Mansmith and that yeah, was good times. Man, where's that family at? That Juggalo family. I see it came out. And there's the back, which is pretty much one less G in a hood, except it's got, I think the first five tracks are from um, one less, or the Blaze Dead Homie EP. I think they, did, they didn't put in Shit Talkers, and then this is mostly one less G in a hood, except there's a couple tracks that were not on there. I know one of them is Hatchet Execution, and I think Saturday, at, no, Saturday afternoon, Hood Rats... Sorry, uh, straight out of Detroit is not on there, and I think a couple more. But they did put in three extra tracks like Lookout, Mama I Ain't Changed, and Garbage. And PSY. Anyway, it's uh, PSY 4060. Sorry, right, my phone just really sucks. <laughs> Colton Grundy, this is his second album on Psychopathic. Uh, it came with this random thing. I don't know if they made it up. Colton Grundy, the album in stores October 19th, available everywhere. It feels like a printout, but I thought it was a pretty cool edition. It says The Undying. And the back, which is, I feel like this is more of a, um, kind of a lost album in his discography. Uh, 4043. This came out in 04. So that's the Hell's Pit era. And another one from the 06 era from the One Last G Deluxe is his last, his next album would be Clockwork Gray. This came out in 07. Uh, CDKK, sorry. Um, I actually already have this. So this is a second copy. So there's that. Him and the ROC. Case really bad, and there's the back 2007. I bought this on Hatchet Gear 2 4300 for the catalog number. But yeah, and then I picked up two things off ME Shop Chain Smoker LP2 from Monoxide. Uh, it's brand new. So we're going to uh, actually crack this open. This is kind of an Collection update plus unboxing. Sorry about the pause. I just uh, had to have my second hand to take the wrapper off. But here's Monoxide. 
Chainsmoker 2. I heard this one on Spotify. It's not bad. Um, I, I think I like his first one better. But, I don't know. I gotta give this another try. Monoxide. Cigarettes. And track listing and credits. I mean, it's it's pretty basic. I mean, if this if stores were still carrying CDs, which a lot of them are not, I don't think this would go into the stores. I think this might have been a online exclusive. Bunch of cigarettes and yeah, and the back. I think one of my favorite ones is BMA. That one's pretty good. Smoke Train was pretty good. So, yep, yeah. and. The spine, which is M and E two thousand two hundred ten. So I'm learning the catalog numbers for M and E as well, and I got the Cryptic Collection five. I believe those are autographed. That's really cool. Cool, and the whole listing. So if you want to pause it. Want to learn anything about them? And gather here is a collection of twisted goodness, be it limited edition, rare, hard to find, one off singles, forgotten, unheard, low print run pressings you name it, we do it all. Over the years, a lot of really good music gets overlooked and or falls through the cracks and goes unsung. Crypto Collection 5's purpose is to provide a haunted home for those tracks. An all ball collection compromised of something we like to call pure underground magic. We sincerely hope you enjoy. Monoxide and Madrox. That's cool. Gee, I thought, I, I thought there was no CD here. Like, what? Twist it. Yeah. I've heard this too. Um, I, there is a benefit to getting the CD is because the track listing. I believe Bad Luck Magnet is a CD and I think it's a vinyl exclusive. I'm not sure on the vinyl. So the Bad Luck Magnet is a um, an outtake from a Freak Show. Which I'm assuming, it's not on Spotify, but I'm assuming it's probably locked up with the rights from, that would be Island, or Psychopathic, like the, the Masters um, copyright and all that. So I'm assuming that's how it is. So again, with the store thing, I don't think this would be in stores, but yeah, pretty cool. Cryptic Collection 5, M&E 211, which... Noxide was two ten. So hey, I got two in a row. I skipped over um, James Garcia's. I might grab that one. So that's pretty cool. Well, there you have it. I'm sorry this took kind of a long time, but it was kind of fun. I've been really listening to like all this stuff lately. Like, gosh, Kill a C's old stuff, Tainted Flash, and then. Liquid Assassin, a lot of Tech 9. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hopefully will get another video like this coming soon. See you next time.